Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 28th, and today's title is The Flesh or the Spirit. They that are after the flesh do not mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That's from Romans chapter 8, verses 5 and 6. After here is used in the sense according to. Greek, kata. Mind here means to set the mind on. One group of people sets their minds on fulfilling natural desires. The other sets their minds on things of the spirit to follow his dictates. Because the mind determines actions, the two groups live and act differently. To have one's mind set on fulfilling the desires of the flesh is in reality to be in a state of enmity against God. One whose mind is thus set and unconcerned about doing the will of God, he or she even may be in rebellion against him, openly flouting his law. Paul wishes especially to emphasize that if you are apart from Christ, it is impossible to keep the law of God. Again and again, Paul returns to this theme. No matter how hard one tries, apart from Christ, one cannot obey the law. Paul's special purpose was to persuade the Jews that they need more than their Torah, that they need more than their law. By their conduct, they had shown that in spite of having a divine revelation, they were guilty of the same sins which were the Gentiles were guilty of in Romans 2. The lesson of all this was that they needed a Messiah. Without him, they would be slaves to sin, unable to escape its dominion. This was Paul's answer to the Jews who couldn't understand why what God had given them in the Old Testament was no longer enough for salvation. Paul admitted that what they had been doing was good, but that they also needed to accept the Messiah who had now come. Today's question, look at the past 24 hours. Were your deeds of the Spirit or the flesh? What can we do to change our actions? Thank you for watching, and please do not forget to share this video with all your friends and family, and have a blessed day.